Hi, good people. Tiffany Javon here, back with another video. And today we're going to talk about why I invest in crypto. And I think you should too. This is not financial advice, it's just strong suggestion. We're going to air quotes, okay? I got my handy dandy second phone because I'm going to it for resources and my notes. And basically, why I invest in crypto, crypto or cryptocurrency, or can be called a digital asset, or different things can be called tokens or coins. So it's basically digital money. And the reason why I invest is because I've been doing my research and and that's okay that's one of the terms that i'm going to talk to you about but i've been doing my research and basically we're getting we're getting ready to head into a new monetary system we're in a new financial system and if you hadn't been paying attention you need to wake up and uh search online new monetary system um, i watch a lot of youtube videos i look at current events especially things that are involving the economy that is going to affect my economy and when i'm talking about my economy i mean my household and you know all the things that affects my household and so we're going in we're going into a new era where we're going into a new new monetary system uh, and there's going to be what they call a transfer of not only knowledge but a transfer of wealth that's going to happen and we've been using the same monetary systems in in the last i think it's like the last 70 years or yeah a little bit over 70 years we've been using the same monetary system and so now we're going into a new one and so thinking how strange when you go into certain stores and you see little signs that says we need exact money or use atm only you know because using atm or using uh, ATM, using a, a, a debit card or credit card using debit card or credit card that's digital money you know what i mean it's something that's through a car through a transaction that you can't see you don't have tangible money right and so are thinking not strange when they say use exact change or we can't give you any change or uh, we're only accepting uh, debit cards or credit cards or you know all this kind of stuff so you know when you see stuff like that this is not happening just by happenstance like we're literally in the process of transferring the fed the federal reserve is getting ready to transfer for us in the next I would say starting this year over the next couple of years uh, we're getting ready to transfer to digital okay digital money now I'm not saying that fiat which that's the word f-i-a-t that's one of the terms that I want to talk to you about that you're gonna hear a lot about in the crypto space and fiat is basically just paper money okay a five dollar bill a twenty dollar bill is basically what is called fiat currency paper money and when I told you at the very beginning that I did my own research it's called DYOR when you see that that means do your own research okay don't just ne never just take what I say what anybody that you see say online you know take it with a grain of salt but you do your own research you do your own digging you do your own you know looking up and searching and stuff like that and you find out for yourself but listen okay this is an opportunity and the reason why i'm, I'm making mention that you need to invest in crypto is because this is an opportunity that's getting that's that's getting ready to pass up a lot of people and what i mean by that is the reason why it's going to pass up a lot of people is because right now there's not a lot of people that's invested in the crypto space it's kind of like being in being in the investment pool with the first people that were a part of facebook or a part of you know amazon or a part of you know the teslas of the world like if you were able to to be a part of those things in their startup would you would you invest of course you would right because right now you'd be living your life by your design and not you know having to work a nine to five or work you know in, in any type of industry where you really don't feel comfortable or you really don't like it and so this is actually an opportunity that you have to that you can come up because you can be one of the early adopters of you know these this new found money or this new money and so i myself have been in this industry i have been researching crypto currency ever since 2013 is when i bought my first uh three bitcoins actually and bitcoin was actually 98 dollars 98 dollars back in 2013 and that sucker went up to like 150 170 dollars and i and i cashed out and i and i regret it to this day i'm glad that i did but i'm glad that i also uh least was introduced to to you know the world so it just let me know the world of crypto they just lets me know that i was on the right path but i really hate that i that I sold a little way too early because that's sucking over the years shot up to like sixty four thousand dollars a coin so imagine if i had three coins times sixty four thousand dollars you do the math that's a little bit over one hundred eighty thousand dollars and so you know not necessarily life-changing money but definitely life-changing money like if you got that liquid you could pay some bills down you pay some debts off you could put down the 
you know, deposits on a home. You can start businesses. Like that's, that's so much capital that you're able to do a, a whole bunch. Of, you know, you can set aside money for your ch children's college funds. And there's so many things that you can do with that money. And so I was like, man, you know, and I stayed on that trajectory. I stayed researching, but I didn't stay as close to it as I should have. And so, because now, you know, I've been investing. I started back reinvesting. Me and my husband uh, started back reinvesting back in 2018. And so we've been investing ever since then. And listen, we've, we've gained, we've been in profit and, you know, we're still in profit and, and we're going to ride this thing out until, you know, there, there's more coins. Bitcoin was the very first coin, but there's a term called alt coins. It's A-L-T coins. And that basically just means everything alternative to the Bitcoin. That's what that means. Okay. So I'm going to go through this list of crypto to kind of help you get started. This list of crypto terms that you need to get used to because you need to do your own research. Okay. D-Y-O-R. You need to do your own research and need to figure out what you need to start investing in. Okay. I'm going to put a link in the description below this link is to uh, an exchange An exchange is another word that you need to know an exchange is basically a place where you're able to go online and you're able to purchase these digital assets you're able to pu purchase this cryptocurrency you can link it to your bank account you can link it to your a debit card and use your debit card or your bank account to make your purchases to buy your digital money okay and so i'll put a link for um uphold below that's one of the exchanges that i use and um they've been doing me right ever since ever since i've been using them i've been using it for a couple of years now and and I love those guys. So they, you know, everything is, is on the up and up with those guys. So I'm going to refer you to those guys below. And so you'll hear a lot about FUD, F-U-D. Okay. And that means fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And what that simply means is that there are a lot of people in this space. That's why you got to do your own research. There are a lot of people in this space that will try to spread FUD. They'll try, try to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt to get you away from a particular asset. Or, you know, they don't want you to benefit from, you know, on the ride up on that asset. You know what I mean? So they will spread this, this information, whether it be other people in this space, whether it be like, you know, retail investors like you and I, or whether it be political people or whatever the case may be, like they'll try to spread spread this fake news or this this FUD, uh, so to speak, and, you know, try to not get, have so many people, you know, benefit from the coin. So you got to be, be well aware of that. Another uh, a term that you're going to hear a lot about is called FOMO, F-O-M-O. And that's fear of missing out. And so the fear of missing out is basically like there are so many people you hear about that because there are going to be so many people that once a coin is all the way already on its way up, that's really not a good time to invest. You you buy low and you sell high. OK, buy low and you sell high, just like with stocks, with anything you buy low and you sell high. Well, if something is already on its way up and there's going to people, there's going to be a lot of people that FOMO mean they're going to be, oh, man, I, I, I'm fearful of missing out. So I'm going to throw my money in here real quick. You know, they're not going to make as much money as the, the ones that, that roll the thing all the way up. You see what I'm saying? So it's always something that you can find another asset that you can find that hadn't went on its in on its run yet on this roller coaster ride yet. And so you you find those assets to get off into. OK, they have the, the assets that's not going anywhere. The assets that have use cases or utility and different things like that. You're going to learn about these words once you start doing your research. OK, and where you can start doing your research, you can start doing it on YouTube like I, I did, you know, research since the phrases like what is crypto you know what is cryptocurrency you know um how long cryptocurrency been been around and then you can start looking up uh, each individual coin what i would do if i were you i would go to a site called coinmarketcap.com so that's c-o-i-n market and then cap c-a-p.com and I would research, if you have time, you know, and I think you need to make time, I would research the top 50 coins. The top 50 coins, you know, I would, especially the top 10. Okay, let's start with the top 10. We don't want to do too much too soon. But I would start with the top 10 coins, research the top 10 or the top 20, and find some some assets up and through there that you can start investing in. Okay? Start growing your portfolio that way. That's what I would do if I were you, if I'm starting out from the beginning. And then you're going to hear a phrase called mooning. M-O-O-N-I-N-G. When something is mooning, it basically means something is going up to a very high price, okay? That it's never been before. It's just completely taken off. Um, again, a fiat is, is paper money. So a $5 bill, a $1 bill, a $20 bill, that's what you'll hear. Um, another phrase is, or another term is called a whale, like a 
fish, a big fish, a whale. And basically what that means, a big fish, somebody that, that's invested a lot of money into, you know, maybe hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars into a certain asset. You know, they bought a billion coins or a million coins, whatever the case may be. That's what, what a whale is called. Somebody that's a big fish that invested a lot of money and hold a lot of the tokens. Um, you're going to hear ATH, which is all time high. And that basically just means that this is the, the highest that this coin has ever been been at. This is its all time high. Um, it may not currently be at that, that price right now, but you know, and that's another thing. That's another uh, indicator. If you're, if a coin, uh, you get into off into a coin and you search its all time high. Say for instance, um, you find a coin that's that's thirty cents right now, but its all time high was five dollars. You know that if nothing else, it can get back to five dollars because why it's been there before. And so that's that would be a good investment. You just gotta do a little bit more research, a little bit more digging, and see you know how many of those that you need to snatch up. Another another term that you would hear, you would call you hear bullish, and bullish just simply means all the bulls, or you're, you're being bullish about an asset or about a cryptocurrency. You're just basically knowing you're, you're basically expecting the price to increase, and that's what being bullish is. The opposite of bullish is bearish, b a r i s h, and of course you're gonna see a lot of animals. You're gonna see bulls and bears, and bears is basically just the, the very opposite of bullish. Bears is basically you're expecting the price to decrease. Okay, and so that's a few of the a few of the the crypto vocabulary that you need to learn the vocabulary terms that you need to learn when starting out when researching um i would start looking on youtube looking up like again focus on those top 10 or top 20 coins start looking those up finding information on those because it's news that comes out about a lot of these coins some on a weekly basis monthly basis some even on a daily basis because some some are a lot more active than others but i would start investing if i were you okay i can't tell you what to do not financial advice strong suggestion right but but I was not investing if I were you because definitely this is the we're, we're about to experience a transfer of wealth, a trans a wealth transfer. OK, because we're, we're new adopters right now. There's less than I think they said the last time I checked, I think it's less than 15 percent of the entire world uh, that's even invested in any type of cryptocurrency. So if it's over seven billion people with the B in the world and less than 13 percent or 15 percent is invested, that's that's a small sliver. You know what I mean? It's so many people that's going to invest later or are not going to be able to catch the wave. But you could be a part of the early adoption team before it, it gets out and it becomes, you know, a massive thing. And it, and it truly becomes our new money. I really believe that it's going to take place within the next two to 10 years that fiat is going to not necessarily fizzle out, but it's going to phase out to the point where we're not going to be using as much paper money as we are going to be using digital money. And so I, I feel like it's going to go maybe like, 70 30 70 percent digital 30 percent um um fiat you know but hey it is what it is again you got to do your own research i'm just putting this information out there coins that i would recommend if you wanted me to recommend and you wanted to see which ones that i've invested in i'm heavily invested in uh, xrp i do like sheep i like um, xlm xdc any of the iso 20022 coins so it's iso 20022 look it up you know do your own research find out what that is it's basically a lot of coins that the government is going to start utilizing and putting in place because they have use cases um and you'll find out what use cases mainly they they have reasons to be used okay and used on a major scale you know between banks and financial institutions and governments and different things of that sort so do your own research i'm just putting this information out there i'll go ahead and put the link in the description below for uphold so you can start doing your investing investing here and there and then we'll we'll take it from there you know the sky is not even the limit us Sky is actually the floor. You can actually go so far beyond the sky with investing in cryptocurrencies, and you can make a little bit of actually a lot of money uh, over these next few years because you know the adoption is about to, the world adoption is about to take place. Okay, so you heard it here first. Until my next video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Stay blessed.